Hi, I'm Brennan, and in this video we're going to talk about gyros, or gyroscopes. So, what a gyro is, for you, those of you who don't know, uh, it's basically tells you where your robot's facing, it's uh, heading. So, uh, if you look at the gyro, and you see that it plugs in through the back, the front is your zero degrees when you reset it. So basically if you turn you can measure how many degrees you've turned as an angle so picture a uh, protractor and you're measuring from uh, zero and then you can go either way uh, negative or positive uh, degrees so this is a new sensor for those of you who don't know the NXT did not have a gyro so it's one of the new and exciting things that the EV3 has and I'm sure it will be super useful for FIL teams to improve their quality of their turns. So, once again, we will go through the spiel of uh, the weight block, the loop block, and the switch block will be interacting with the gyro, and the sensor block, which is here. So if we pull out the sensor block first, there are three different settings for uh, measuring. So there's angle, which just outputs a uh, degrees value, a uh, numeric degrees value, so um, 90 degrees or whatever. Uh, rate outputs a degrees per second. So what that means is it measures how fast your robot is turning. So what it does is every second it counts however many degrees you go through, you uh, drive, and then that's your rate. So you can tell how fast you're turning. And then if you want to do both of them in one block, you do angle and rate, and it has output for both the angle and the rate. So, if we go to compare, much similar to a lot of other sensors, you have your standard uh, equals, not equals, greater than, greater or equal to, etc, etc, etc. And you have your threshold value, which is uh, your degrees. So, uh, right now it's less than, so, if it, while it's less than, or, um, while it's less than 90 degrees right now, this will output as true, and if it's not, it'll output as false, and it also outputs the current angle that it's at. You can also compare rates. So, uh, right, like I said before, it's measuring in degrees per second. I haven't actually uh, tried using the degrees per second, so I, I don't know what a realistic value is. However, you can definitely use it to figure out how fast you're turning. And just looking at it right now, it's while it's less than 90 degrees per second, which is a really pretty fast turn, I think. Uh, if it's less than that, then this will output is true. If not, it will be false. And then again, it outputs the current rate that it's at. And the final thing that the sensor block does is it resets the gyro. So say you're beginning a new turn, you can reset the gyro and start counting again. So let's open up this weight block. And go to the gyro. Once again, the compares are exactly the same, but instead of outputting a true or false statement, all it does is it moves on to the next block. So while if so it waits until it's less than 90 degrees. And same thing for a uh, uh, rate, which um Hang on, let me pull that up. Rate. Uh, if it's moving less than 90 degrees per second, then it'll move on. And if we go to the change, once again, you have your standard uh, forwards, backwards, or any direction. So... Uh, pause, when you're doing it um, 
a positive change is going to the right and a negative change is going to the left just so that you know so right now it's looking for any change so either turning 10 degrees either way and then it'll move on and it's also displaying or it can also output the uh, current angle and similar similarly we have the change of the uh, degrees per second so uh, if you're going backwards it would be negative degrees per second so depending on whether you're looking for an increase or a decrease or any and it's looking for a change in 10 degrees per second and once it gets that then it'll move on and again it uh, outputs the uh, degrees per second and here's our loop so you can do angle or rate once again this that you're, this um, block that you're setting is uh, your condition to exit the loop so right now it's currently set uh, so that when the gyro is less than 90 degrees then it will exit the loop and of course you can change all those settings same thing for, for degrees per second if it's uh, less than uh, 90 degrees per second it will exit the loop and you can of course make that equal to or not equal to or all those uh, comparison operations and finally the switch so first we'll compare angle once again it's a true or false thing if it's less than 90 then it will go to the true section and run whatever's in here but if it's more than 90 then it'll go to the false section and if we go to degrees per second or rate once again if it's less than 90 degrees per second it'll go to the top part which is the true because of the check mark and if it isn't then it'll go to the false which is the X so it'll run whatever's in here and that's the gyro.